Hello everybody, Glitch Reaper here, aka the original card game for the win, and uh, it's that time again. They're doing another Momir uh, run for Midweek Magic, and I um, gotta admit, Momir's Madness style, I was kind of wondering if they was going to bring it back. I mean, apparently they have. For a while I was kind of wondering, because when they brought in that one card that kind of replicated the style, I'm going... Is this kind of a going away gift, or can I get this back another way? And apparently they they kept the format going, so we're going to have ourselves another movie match. So, as usual, you get a deck of nothing but land, <laughs> and every creature you get is going to be randomly determined. Uh, but there's no actual spell casting here, so if you've got a quest you're doing that relies on technically casting the spell, probably not going to happen. But now that we've got a few additional things in the game that are like I'm wondering if one of those happens to pop up and it lets us get an actual card in hand, and this is like definitely an I have extra force. A thing. So I'm definitely sacking a forest. Soul bender. Okay. Uh, Double strike. Oh, oh, it's that guy. Okay. Yeah, so they are included. Uh, okay. Therefore, let's, uh, see what we can see here. I am going to... Sack the extra island. Okay, I got a bat. I got a bat. That, that's a good, good thing. I got a bat. But again, we do have no land. Oh, what could happen? He got Baragoth Blood Sky Sire. Um. Actually, I might want that to go through so I can take down Virakov. Yeah, okay. Play a swamp. Uh... Back and forth. Okay, that was interesting. <laughs> Did not expect that one in, 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 in the slightest, so... Oh, why not? Let's go all out there all set. Now I can take down Virgo. <laughs> okay, uh... Just looking at coming. Dunhart and June Predator. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't do this boat.
Okay, this is usually the time where things start getting interesting. Uh, I'll actually stack another forest. Okay, this could be interesting. Okay, there goes the bat. I kinda like this plane, so... That's bad. I'm gonna have to fight only using very particular things now. Because Asmodeus actually isn't as good as you might think. Because, uh, <laughs> these things cost life. It's always a recipe for disaster. Thin hauler. Uh, there's no artifact creatures right now, but I can, however, try to uh, knock him out of the card. Maybe I'll go ahead and do it because I'm far enough ahead. I, I normally wouldn't do this, but... Okay. Can't actually cast spells at target creatures in this format. It's still a fun format, but you just can't do that, so. Eh. Grizzle Brand. Okay, that's interesting in and of itself. get rid of this guy for me. That would be kind of nice. Because he did kind of slow me down in a very decidable way. This is why I not as big of a fan of those particular kinds of effects. As you can see how it made things a bit uh, problematic. me down too much. It's kind of a primal calamity.
Okay. It's gonna be very interesting. Because we can't cast spells, so it's gonna be uh, Eternal Night very soon. That's gonna be quite interesting. Still, I got really unlucky with Asmodeus. Cause he does he does he's not really that good. I'm definitely gonna have to get lucky another uh, round to be able to do Oh. Speaking of luck, that definitely helped. But it's not really enough for things. It just was not enough of things, especially when, uh... Yeah, as long as just doesn't really bad to do it. His ability detriments you way more than it does. Like, in general. Not, not just in this format, but in general. To be fair, I did just get a lot of things from quests, but that's a different story. It was mainly just an attack sort of thing. But yeah, that, that, that shows why I haven't really put Asmodeus in my Divine Wrath deck. It might be a god card, but his ability just doesn't really mesh very well with a lot of things. I mean, if you use a hasted finisher, eh, yeah, but basically, as long as you're about to finish somebody off that round with him, while he's somehow hasted, that would work. And it's interesting how this holiday-themed version of the Kaldheim uh, field is still here. Okay, that's 
better rhythm for Lockhart. There's only one option that really is significant there in this exact format, just, just saying. I have an extra plane, so why not? Boot nipper. does have the uh, is this format for leaving the quotes I, 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 I'm just wondering there Having a weird excess of islands right now. Which is fine. Okay. That that definitely helps. Okay. In a way. There's gotta be something I can use to boost them up to be able to help them out there, but they flying, death touch, lifelink, uh, vampires, very good. Even if it, it just remains 2 3 and doesn't get a boost, that's still pretty good. internet issue. I mean, it can happen. I have enough boats, thank you. Yeah, fine. Finally got that thing. It, it kept having my customizations not saved in between for some reason for a while. I don't know why or what was going on, but just like every time I, I uh, exited the game, suddenly they weren't saved when I came back on. So I'm not, not sure what was up with that.
Yeah, I think they're having some sort of technical issue. I think they got fully disconnected. That doesn't seem like a no fight, that seems like a technical issue. Because they just weren't doing anything, so I think the game just froze up on them and just stayed that way. So they had terrible luck. Meanwhile, let's see what I get for one of my things. Okay. One of the uh, remaining Strixhaven cards I need to get, so that that's beautiful there, actually. So, yeah, it definitely helps me out, because I've been kind of doing a thing where I've been kind of targeting things that I need to, like, finish off a set or something for a while, and there's not much I've got left on Strixhaven right now, but any of the remaining rares and mythic rares out of it that I need is totally welcome. Keep untapping himself as being the only one there that can be untapped for a while. Fair enough, though. Okay, that's gonna make things interesting. Take that counter this round. Don't have anything to get past their defenses right now, but I could certainly block everything. Uh, kind of. With my shapers of nature, I can just kind of keep things up. That was interesting. this one up, though. Actually...
make sure I have enough to actually kill this thing. Do something a little bit different. Okay, I can gain death touch to take something out. A little bit of trample damage, but still worked out. Money is archive. That's a problem. Okay, here's hoping to get something to can work with that. Very, very angry. Very, very angry Minotaur. That was an interesting way to do it. Well, now I have the advantage, but I'm going to have to wait a little bit. Like, because it's, it's still under some minimum sickness rule. I need to maintain my forces this time. That's gonna be interesting.
fire dragon. There goes my very angry minotaur. Well, there's one more way to do this. Okay, so this might be narrow, but it might also be possible, depending on the extreme luck right now. Colossus of Sardia. Such an old school classic. Wait a moment. What? I think it miscalculated lots of stuff suddenly. How did that happen? It should be that I took six damage while I had seven HP left. Not going to negative. It had well, just one left. Should have blocked everything that they had. Should have attacked them on the next round and won. It shouldn't have been they popped out mysteriously had five HP left suddenly. Or was it still three? And then I had negative, but I want. How did that even work? Is what I am wondering. It's like so many ways. <laughs> I think the game just bugged out whenever they noped out, and I'm getting Mr. Rare. Oh, sweet! That's one of them that I ne needed from the from <laughs> from Innistrad uh, Crimson Vow. So nice. So that was pretty sweet. Now I'm going for the cosmetic. Will it be the first time that the cosmetic is something other than a card style? I haven't seen it happen yet. Not once. Not once. Not... I, I, I have done midweek magic several times, and I have not found a single like, non-card style thing yet. I definitely have an excessive, an excessive amount of forest right now. That's always a welcome start. Something to face. So hello, I got incredibly lucky. <laughs> okay, this is the ultra luck challenge. Meanwhile we have Mila back for a while. Okay. Now let's plane it up. Going by pairings. That's interesting. Definitely something to actually work towards. Okay, okay. So I have reasons for both uh, forests and islands right now. Speaking of forests and islands, okay. So, I do have an excessive amount of force again.
I have two of the same art style, so you, you're gonna go that way. Hearing you soon. And now I'm gonna hit you with a bird. Because bird is the word. Uh, this is from Amiket Remastered. So, yeah. You can be Greg. Okay. right now, but I already have one field. Sweet. Okay. They abandoned ship that early on in it. Uh, cause that was a nope out. Like, they just zipped off without no sign of lag or anything. They just went zip and disappeared. Uh, so that happened. Crawling infestation. Okay. Hmm. Not the best, but it, I mean, it, it's a thing. You know, well, let's let's see here. I, I I kind of really zipped up the numbers there on my mastery path. Okay. So now I'm getting another pack of crimson vow, and I'm going to open like. 70 packs at once after a while, but before I do that, I will open a few along the way, so I'm gonna kind of do this one here while I'm at it. It's a, it's a good uh, going off thing for this Momir uh, round. It wasn't the biggest Momir uh, match I've had, but it, it certainly had some twists and turns. Including some things that were just like absolute awesome luck on one side or the other. This is a hilarious quote, just saying. Run! It's coming for us! Eventually! It's a giant snail. <laughs> it's gonna... It, I mean, it's gonna get there eventually. Yeah. It's gonna be a problem eventually, yeah. But, but you have time to just casually walk away. Forget running, you, you can just casually outwalk us. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's just a hilarious quote. Uh, meanwhile... Hmm... Hmm... Extra turns are interesting, but you would definitely want to be playing the cleave cost on this one just in case. So, yeah, this is one of those things where it's like, uh, you might want to uh, get up to seven mana quickly there. So that, that was interesting. Now, I've got to do a quick check on what I still have left to do out of uh, Crimson Vow, actually. Just to check. Yeah, I got that recently. Yeah, th these, these two are good, but what do I got left out of Crimson Vow? Okay. I've got quite a bit, because I haven't done my big opening of, like, a bunch yet. But that definitely makes things interesting. In fact, what if I just... Like, just for the fact that it often will come down to it, but maybe not necessarily. What if I narrow that down to rares and mythic rares? Okay. So that's not really that much in terms of like just going page by page and finding out what we got here. Because I haven't really gone uber on it yet, but we'll get there. So let's 
So, three pages plus one card. And... Rares and Mythic Rares. But, once I start opening an absolute bunch of packs, that might narrow really fast. So, we'll definitely see what's gonna happen there. And a lot of this is going to be pretty wild. But, for now, I'll be logging off, because I got other things I'll be needing to do at some point. But it was a good moment. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. It had some interesting moments, and you got to see some things that I'm not sure if they're actually going to ever be available in Arena in any other way, other than through a combination of... Uh, Momir matches, and, uh, actually, let me, let me look for it. Oh, what, what, what was it called? So I, I know we got it somewhere around here. It was, a uh, let's see, what, what was, was it a that of some sort? That's not exactly the easiest thing to check for. <laughs> okay. No, oh, pull of vigorous growth. That was it. Wouldn't have been, but it still still found it. <laughs> okay. The, yeah, this is the thing that basically duplicates uh, Momir Vig's uh, ability that you get, but it's an artifact. It's not an emblem, and it's not necessarily like the whole format, so you'd have to be able to actually get this uh, card played <laughs> to be able to actually go all out with it. So, and even then it'd still be targetable. So it's, again, it's not quite like doing a moment match, but for a while you'd be able to do the same thing. Possibly getting some crazy stuff to happen. So, I mean, what would it be like to actually just pull this out of your hat and say, you know, I'm just suddenly turning this entire thing into Mobir. <laughs> just be like, okay, okay, let's just throw random stuff out. Uh, so, there's that as a thought. But otherwise, we'll, we'll see. Like, again, it's been great that they brought Mobir back. I love it for, like, so many reasons. And... Again, it's it's great for uh, beginners even more than it is for uh, for veterans because the thing is that you don't have to actually have a deck to play. You don't have to even select one. You just go in. It's always going to be nothing but lands in terms of the deck itself. But in terms of what you actually get, it will be just a wild, super lucky run where it's like, okay, just play until you win enough here because it's just gonna be you're gonna get some lucky shots in eventually with good creatures it's just how it's gonna work because of making the token copies all over the place so that's gonna be i mean it's still super fun even after they've gotten all these other electronic only formats in uh, some of this not electronic only but just different formats than they've had before uh but this is still just a very fun way to do it and it's mainly just here on arena for now, I'll be logging off with that thought of it's still hilariously fun. <laughs> uh, hope to hear from you all later. Bye for now, everybody, and remember, MTG forever. <laughs>